Now, before we get into this comparison issue, I want to tell you about another thing. Um, for the last 18 years, I've taught a concept I call packaged commodities investing. When we look at a house, Jay, we really need to consider whether it's a house, an apartment complex, and I've owned both, many of both, um, or, or whatever type of real estate deal we're looking at. Um, we're buying two components. One component is the land, and the other component is the structure sitting on the land. And if it's a house or pretty much any structure, it's made of commodities, commodities that are traded worldwide that are not indexed to any particular currency. They have intrinsic value. So if all the world's currencies went away tomorrow and there was no such thing as a dollar, a yen, a euro, a peso, whatever, if those didn't exist, People could trade lumber, steel, petroleum products, glass, concrete, and all the other ingredients of a house without currency, without money, because these products have intrinsic value and they are the ingredients to a house. So when we think about a house, I want you to think of it as investing in commodities. Okay, we are really commodities investors more than we are real estate investors. And unlike commodities investors buying these commodities on the mercantile exchange, okay, we get to finance them for three decades with artificially cheap fixed rate debt that is tax deductible. We get all these tax advantages. When we package these commodities in the form of a house or an apartment building, they work differently. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, one commodity is lumber. And lumber prices, as probably everybody knows by now, have been skyrocketing. They've just been going through the roof. In fact, the price of lumber is has uh, put upward pressure on new home prices to, to the tune of $24,000 already, just due to the cost of lumber, okay? This is one super important commodity. But a lot of these other commodity prices have gone through the roof as well. Um, just remember, uh, one commodity that economists look at all the time is copper. And if you were to open up the walls of any property you own, you'd see a lot of copper wire in those walls, right? So all of these ingredients to a house are very important. So uh, here, you know, lumber, iron, steel, all these fabricated structural medical metal, metal products, you know, you can see the prices have just gone through the roof, okay? Now, this is a funny meme. It's a picture of a couple having a romantic dinner. And, um, you know, I suppose she's saying to him, take me somewhere expensive. They're at the lumber yard. <laughs> so, I just thought that was kind of funny, right? I love it. Uh, and, and, and that meme really does sum it up. You know, we're in this crazy market where these commodities have become super, super expensive. Now, when we look at home prices, this chart goes back over a hundred years looking at home prices. We can see something really interesting here. We can see that from 1900 until uh, the big boom in the economy with the baby boomers coming back from World War II and building houses and uh, just experiencing a wonderful booming economy. Uh, when America had its love affair with the automobile, Detroit was booming. I mean, things were pretty darn great in the 50s, okay? And then uh, we saw, so we saw prices go up quite a bit. And then there was another big change that occurred. And that was in 1971, when Richard Nixon closed the gold window. He took the last step of severing the tie between gold, which has been considered real money for 5,000 years, and he completely disconnected gold from the dollar in 1971. And then we saw housing prices and inflation in general, broad inflation, not just housing prices, absolutely go through the roof. And, uh, you know, for those of you listening to audio only, the chart we're looking at 
is a huge, huge upsurge in housing prices. And then, of course, during the Great Recession, we saw them come down a bit, and then we've seen them go up, up, up ever since. And, you know, I won't be able to go into all of these concepts today, but I just want to offer a free book that I have. It's just a mini book. It's totally free, no credit card or anything like that needed. Uh, it's at pandemicinvesting.com, and it really relates to a lot of these topics of how to invest during a pandemic. The specifics of the mass migration that is going on where people are relocating, wealth is being transferred, and a lot of these topics that we'll talk about today, uh, but in much more detail. So that free book is at pandemicinvesting.com. 